Yo everybody, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you all are having a great day today so far. I know I am because we're going to be jumping into another versus battle. You all seem to really enjoy the last one and you posted tons of suggestions of what verses I should be doing and by far the most popular one was Tara versus Mortis. So we're going to be jumping into that very, very shortly. Now the last versus videos that we did, we did Spike versus Crow. So we're kind of working down in rarity. So we're going to be doing the mythics now in today's video, Tara and Mortis. It should be a good time. Let's jump right into it. Yeah. Alrighty guys, before we jump into anything, I just want to make this clear before we get into the games that the results of these games and whoever's the winner does not mean that brawler is better than the other. It's just how good I play with them in the given games that we do. Um, for a perfect example, the last versus video that we did, um, Crow ended up winning. And I believe right now in the current meta, Spike is a bit better. So it just worked out that Crow ended up winning. Maybe it might have been the playstyle, the map that we were playing on, or plenty of other things. So I just want to make that clear. I'm just going to be doing my best with each brawler. No bias attached. I love both of these brawlers, Tara and Mortis. I'm gonna be trying my best with both of them. So much like the last video, what we did is we jumped into three matches with each brawler on showdown and whichever brawler got the most trophies in the very end would be crowned the winner. So we're gonna be doing the same exact format in today's video. Alrighty guys, so let's get into this battle. So we're gonna be hopping into it with Mortis first on Feast or Famine. We'll see how we can do. So we're both at 500 trophies on Tara and Mortis. So we're gonna be progressing the same amount of trophies per each win. So it's gonna be completely fair through and throughout. So we'll see how we can do guys. Cross your fingers. We're gonna be trying to get on a good solid team right away off the bat doesn't look like the crow is having it okay he's not we might be lone rangering it guys does frank does frank want a team the blood the brethren <laughs> guys i i swear these guys are like uncle siblings something like that they just look so similar okay so looks like frank is going to be doing the camping game and maybe we should do that as well looks like stuff is being pretty active in the middle so that'd be awesome if the game would progress somewhat quickly i would love that uh, it would make for some easy trophies and that's the thing about mortis We're probably not going to be taking first place which Tara has that capability But we can outlast we can run away and stuff like that dodge shots and it should be somewhat decent Okay guys also I want to make somewhat of an announcement as well guys. We are only um 35 trophies off of 10k 10k trophies It is so hyped guys. I cannot wait. I don't know if we should branch off. Should we branch off? Should we get away from this Frank? I think we just want to get away from this crow. Crow's the main guy right now. He's being a punk, guys. He's being a punk. Yes, please. Go away. Go away. Okay, guys. We made our break. Oh, my gosh, guys. That was scary. Crow's one of those brawlers that can get you in a tight spot and just keep peppering you with damage and just is really relentless and never stops going for you. Okay, here we go. But yeah, guys, be on the lookout for a video tomorrow. We're going to be reaching 10K. I'm going to be getting it tonight. Um, normally, I don't have a video up on Wednesdays because we stream. But it's an exception, guys. I want to get this 10K trophies. I just want to get out of the way. And you guys may be wondering, Ray, you're just such a dirty camper. But sometimes, guys, you just got to do it with Mortis. This is play style. You got to be, got to be cautious. Got to be camping, lurking around. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, guys, we just got to really hope and pray that people start dying because we have no elixir we have nothing nothing we can do really to outlast okay there's a shelly okay i don't like how this is going the bow and the spike are teaming up together we gotta try to make a break for it somewhere yes go for each other get each other oh my goodness <laughs> give me some skulls okay I think this is it. Five. Okay. How many trophies with that? Oh my gosh. That was so insane in the end. Okay. Zero trophies. So starting off with zero. And guys, I got my notepad down this time. So I'm not going to screw up with the math. But zero trophies on Mortis. I think we could have did a little bit better. If we would have lasted like 10 more seconds, we would have got in the positive trophy area. But guys, next up is Tara. So we'll see how we can do with Tara. Oh my goodness, guys. I wish we would have got some trophies with Mortis. Um, it'd be cool to win with Mortis. I feel like Mortis is kind of the underdog in this situation, especially on Feast or Famine. Um, Tara has a little bit of an upper hand because she's so good at getting boxes, and I think she's good at getting teammates as well. But you know what? We're going to make it work with Mortis. Hopefully, it's a close battle, and like I said before, we're going to be going into this no bias attach. You guys know how much I love Mortis, and I want to see him win, but I'm going to be trying as best as I can with each of these brawlers, so it's somewhat of a fair fight. Okay, so let's hop right into it and see how we can do. All right, guys, so here we go. So it is Tara's chance right now. She has a very good chance to pull ahead. Looks like there's a lot of shotgunners and tanks, which Tara is somewhat decent against because she can fend them off with the piercing damage through the boxes. 
So yes, this is Tara's chance to take a good solid lead. And we're not teaming. We're not going to team with any of the tankier units. Oh, there's one person down. That's another. Another really solid. Okay. I was just about to say something, but guys, we got to focus. I really don't like playing in Showdown above 500 trophies. Just because once I get a 500 trophy brawler, I hate risking losing that 500 trophies. It's so dang scary. Okay, let's see. This Shelly wants us. I think she's just trying to charge up her super. It's smart on her part. She's going to need that. She doesn't have that much elixir, so she needs all the things she can get. Can we get a few ticks of damage on this bull? We're not. The bull is a little bit faster than us. I think he has like 650 movement speed, and we have 600. It's already looking good for Tara, guys. Hopefully, this is not just a blowout. I hate blowouts, especially in these versus battles. Doesn't make for a very fun match, but you never know. Um, you never count out in Showdown. People can come back very, very easily. Showdown can be one-sided. You might die really, really quick in the beginning, and then someone takes the upper hand. But let's see. Okay. We got Poco, and it's cool. We're lone ranging this time. We're definitely going to be needing a teammate if we're playing with Mortis. He really relies on that. Okay, there's the bull. He knew I was going for it there. Okay, we're kind of getting back into a corner here. No one's kind of dying anymore, and I'm not sure where the other brawlers are. We can definitely burst down this Poco. Okay, <laughs> I used my super on him. <laughs> I don't know what that Poco is trying to do. We had four elixirs, so we can really do a lot of damage. Okay, same goes for this Poco. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna win a bunch of trolls with Tara. To, um, more. Okay, dang it. Okay, so we have what place is that? Third place. I was gonna say we we're leave. We're gonna be leaving Mortis in the dust. Okay, plus three trophies. You're gonna write that down. So we are th zero and three. So Tara's up by three trophies. So guys, Mortis has to make somewhat of a comeback here. I think we can do it. We're going to try our best, and we'll see how we can do. Here we go. Feast or Famine, and Mortis Action. Come on, you guys. And we're um, closening that gap to 10k trophies, so I'm really, really hyped about that. I think once we were around, like, 10,000 subs, that's when I was trying to shoot for 10k trophies. And we're about 5,000 off that. So we are at about almost 15,000 subscribers. So I have been lacking so, so much. I need to get trophy pushing a little bit harder. And once we get that 10k, mm, guys, that's going to be such a big milestone. Um, christening the five digits. It's gonna be awesome. So let's hop into this and see how we can do. All right, you guys, so it all comes down to this. We need to have a solid push with Mortis. And I think the last time we kind of botched on not getting Elixir. And we didn't have a solid teammate either. So let's see. All right. So we're sharing the Elixir here. Okay. Okay, don't necessarily trust him. He hit us like once. But we were kind of sharing those boxes, so... It's all head games, guys, I'm telling you. Teaming kind of stinks. It's it's just a very stressful process. Okay, let's see. And I know, guys, I'm a dirty teamer, but you, we need to we, we need to make this happen with Mortis, or we need to try our best. And definitely teaming is an asset that you need to um, do with Mortis, just because you know you're going to be going up against teamers, especially at this trophy range. So it's important to team up. Very important for Mortis, because he's not very crazy good at lone ranging it if you're going up against, like, three-man teams and stuff. Okay, I'm not sure where everyone is. Yes, we're camping and teaming. But we'll see. Nothing's really happening. Normally, Feast or Famine is a very quick match. And we need to take... We, I want to take better in fifth place. I feel like we we don't want zero trophies. We need at least three trophies to match Tar at least. At least. Okay, so it's Nita and I. Are we going to team with the Frank? I'm fine with teaming with Frank. Guys, I love Frank on my team. Yes, I'll, te I'll come by you. Do you not trust me? Okay. Frank is awesome, guys. I love him. I feel I'm I'm not gonna let that go, guys. I feel like these two are related in some way. Frank and Mortis. Okay, guys. What do I tell you? It's super important just to stay alive, especially getting to like this point. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna kind of do our thing, go away from here, because we got a three-man team on the pro. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, it looks like it's a three versus three, so we gotta make a somewhat of a stand here. Because they're going to fish us out either way. We got a four bow. They're teamed with each other. We're kind of separating from our team. Maybe they'll go for them. Please. Yes. We need those. Okay, we got three elixir. Okay, guys, fifth place. We got to get better in fifth place. We can do it. Oh, guys, this is so nerve-wracking. I want... Oh, they're getting bull sucked in. 
No, Frank! Okay, Nita's turning on the Frank. Are we gonna get botched by the... Okay, we gotta do something here. Oh my goodness, the Nita! Guys, I should have trusted the Nita. Since she turned on the Frank, I should have known that she was gonna turn on us. But guys, plus one trophies on Mortis. That means we are only two behind Tara. So let's see how we can do with Tara on this next one. Here we go, you guys. Here we go. All right, you guys, hopping straight away into it. Let's see how we can do. Oh my gosh, guys. That middle looks so, so good. There's so many boxes. Hopefully, one person becomes super, super OP. I don't know if I want to team with the, the, the Shelly. Though, I feel like we can out-damage the Shelly pretty easily. I just don't want to team with her. Okay, let's see. We got a spike. Hopefully, there's someone getting super OP in the middle right now. Because once you get someone who's really, really overpowered, then... They do a really good job of cleaning up house. Like, they're really good at killing all the smaller elixir brawlers scattered around the map. And it looks like it's going to be a bow that's chilling in the middle. A bow and a poco. Why is that such a popular team that I'm seeing right now being teamed up together? A bow and a poco. It's like Duo Showdown, guys. <laughs> it's the classic Duo Showdown Feast or Famine um, team comp. Okay, we're just going to try and get our... Okay, one more shot. Oh, she's going to stay alive. Most definitely. We're just going to do our thing, though. We're just going to stay. It's good. We got our super. We might need that. We might need that eventually. <clears throat> okay, this Poco is getting sandwiched hard right now. What is this Shelly doing? She won't leave me alone. I almost killed her, but now she's being just annoying. <laughs> Let's see. We'll see what happens here. She just keeps doing it. Once we get her super guys, I'm just gonna kill her. She's gonna she's gonna keep being a nuisance. Okay, so we got her. We cleaned her up. We got a six Poco though coming in, and I don't like the looks of that. And he's got a super. We just gotta kinda chill out. Oh my gosh, there's a Shelly! Oh no, guys! I didn't even know that Shelly was there! Okay, so that is minus two! It's tied up! I swear to gosh, I did not try to do that. Oh my gosh, guys. It's funny how these versus matches work. Oh my gosh. Okay, hopping into the next one to see how Mortis can do. Let's go, guys. Moving into it with tied trophies. Though we're only at zero, I think one, something like that. Let me let me add it up. I don't want to be wrong like I was in the last video. Okay, so we're both at one trophy. One trophy apiece. Not a high-scoring trophy total in today's video, but it's working out for a good match. Okay, here we go. Let's see how Morris can do. Alrighty, guys, here we go. So we're moving on to the final round. This is the third round with each of the brawlers. Morris is starting off. We'll see what I can do. Now, I know you guys, like, the way I'm doing my commentary, you know that I have, that I, I enjoy Mortis more. And I'm somewhat pulling for him to win, but that doesn't impede, like, what I'm trying to do with each of the brawlers. Like, I'm I'm adamantly trying to win with each of them. Like, I'm not just going to try to lose with a certain brawler or something like that. I want this to be a nice, close battle and a fun battle. Though, I do think Tara is favored on this map. So if she ends up winning in the end, I will have no problems with it. Feast or Famine is definitely a bit better for Tara. Just because she has a little bit more range. She can pierce through the boxes. It's very wide open, so she can do that. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're all tied up, so really don't know what's going to happen. And it looks like this map is going very, very quickly. It is progressing fast. And we have a very overpowered Poco in the middle. Which, you know what? I'm okay with that. I am, I'm okay with that, because we can outrun a Poco. We definitely can't go face-to-face -face with a Shelly, though. And we don't have a teammate, but we did get Elixir, finally. I feel like that's one thing we haven't been doing very well with Morris, is trying to get a good, solid amount of Elixir in the beginning. Okay, the Shelly. What's up with the Shellys, guys? I feel like in the last game when we were playing with Tara, they're just annoying, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what are you trying to do? You have zero Elixir, and you know I can outrun you, so... I'm not gonna let her get her super here. Not even a single tick of it. Okay, here we go. Alright, so five people left. We're on that verge just because of the match is going fast. We have one very overpowered person, and we're just going to ride it out, guys. Survival, super, super important. And I know a lot of YouTubers have been saying this to you. Um, in so Now she wants the team. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I like to be choosy with my teammates sometimes, sometimes. But like I was saying before, a lot of YouTubers preach just stay alive. Showdown is such a game mode where it's just survival of the fittest. Most of the time, you don't want to be super super elixir hungry and powerful because it ends up you having kind of like a, a big head of yourself you know what I mean like you're trying to stay alive oh let's get away we have a few skulls to work with as well in the middle everyone's out to get spiked guys I'm telling you <laughs> it's not fair it's not fair 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so what is that? Plus one. So we're up one on Mortis. So if Tar wants to win this battle, she's going to have to take fourth place, or I should say third place or better. So guys, let's see how we can do. We have two trophies total with Mortis and two, one trophy with Tara. So we'll see how Tara can do it. If she can take it home, we'll see, we'll see. Here we go. All right, you guys, hopping straight away into it. This is the match that decides it all. Tara has the road paved for her to win. We're only up by one with Mortis. So Tara can definitely take a stand here and take first place or beat Mortis out of this. And you know what? I feel like it's rightfully so. This map is much better for Tara than it is for Mortis. Does Rico want a team? Okay, I guess not. We'll take it. Does the crow want a team? Crow never wants a team. It's weird. Mm. Okay, so we got eight brawlers left. We got to get third place or better if we want to win with Tara. Though, you know what? That is actually di more difficult than you'd think. Throughout this entire game, of um, all these showdown matches that we've played, we've only been taking, like, fourth place and fifth place. So, the way the trajectory that is going, Morris has a pretty good shot. I'm not going to lie. Yes, I will team with you gladly. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we got the Crow. Crow doesn't want anything to do with teaming. And you know what? That's totally fine. Like, I understand. People don't like teaming in this game. And th maybe it's just the Crow ha has it all for us. Crow just doesn't like us. But I guess we were shooting at him before. It's definitely understandable. Okay, some there's someone actually there's there shouldn't be anyone super overpowered in the middle just yet. Because there's only four elixirs, four boxes in the middle. So they'd be on par with us. Okay, it's a bull. I'm not too worried about that. I feel like the bull is gonna be just fine. We got plenty of brawlers that can investigate, can do poke damage, get them down low. Though that other team has a bow on their team. We gotta be careful for that. Ooh, Brock. Brock looks like a lone ranger on that team. He's a lone ranger! Okay. Let's stay by our teammates. Stay by our teammates. We don't want to be unrecognizable. Okay, let's see, let's see. Where are these people? We need to take third place. Come on, guys. This game is so stressful. Teaming is so stressful. I hate it sometimes. Okay, nice. Okay, there's one bow remaining. One bow. One bow, guys. We this is this decides it. Can we win with Tara? Yes, guys! Tara ended up winning! Can we take first place, maybe? Okay, we're just going off on a rampage now. We don't care about teammates. <laughs> okay, second place. So, Tara ended up winning how many trophies in the very end? Plus four. So, that means Tara won by three trophies, it looks like. And you know what? As much as I love Mortis, Mortis is my favorite baller in the entire game. I'm happy that Tara won because she deserved to win on Feast of Famine. I feel like it's definitely the better map to play Tara on um, Feast of Famine. But I mean, if you played Mortis, if you did the same versus battle on like Skull Creek or Stormy Plains, I feel like it'd be definitely a different story because Mortis really thrives on those maps. And Tara might have a little bit of a time because it's predominantly um, lobbers and whatnot. But it was just the circumstances that the games were going. But you know what? It was a fun match. It was a fun battle. It was close to the very end. And I'm happy the way it turned out. It was very, very fun. So, Tara taking the winner. Tara taking the cake. She's first place winner. Taking it by three trophies. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. Also, comment down below your suggestions for another versus video. What brawlers do you want to see pinned up against each other? Um, I really love doing these videos. I've been doing them for the longest time, for as long as I can remember. So, I want to continue doing these because they're so fun for me to make. So, guys, with that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.